Josh Hayes here for Viking Fusion. Over the past few years, Americans have had to cope with rising gas prices. However, in the past few weeks, people here in Georgia have had to deal with gas scarcity due to the destruction caused by Hurricane Ike. And some experts say it will be another two weeks before gas is more readily available. We're at one of Rome's gas stations where gas is currently available, but that could soon change due to all this traffic. Many citizens of Rome find themselves in very difficult situations due to the gas shortage. I've been running uh, pretty much in my last quarter of tank for about four, day, four days now, four or five days. Because, you know, before all this, like, I'd just kind of drive around all my classes, but now I just pretty much park one place and walk everywhere. At this point, I just want to find gas, but, um, yeah, it's been an issue. I mean, I have a truck, it's a V8, and, I mean, it's terrible. I mean, right now it's already up to 90. Staying at home, the weekend I was off, I couldn't go nowhere because I didn't have gas money. A local cashier expresses that the station she works at is not undergoing any economical stress despite the gas shortage. We normally get shipments. Um, we've been getting it every other day. We don't never stay out longer than one day uh, out of gas. Uh, last night we had it going at 8 o'clock. We had 5,000 gallons. It was sold by 8 o'clock this morning. Now, we already had it. Our gas tank uh, had tore up and was out for four days and we got it going. We sub 5,000 gallons overnight. Barry students, however, shared their own stories of how the gas shortage is affecting their daily commute. Well, I have no gas right now and I don't want to use my gas to go to work because I have to use my gas to go get gas. And so I have to walk to work today and I really need to get gas to go home for fall break. Oh, my friend, that was crazy. We went to Kroger, well, she was already at Kroger, stranded at Kroger because they ran out of gas and I had to pick her up because I had filled up the week before. She was stranded. There was mass hysteria. People were mad. We were forth in a tank and we were having to get down there and we like went to four different gas stations before we found one and we had to wait in line for a good 30 minutes to get gas. Actually, it was kind of stressful. I had to go to ride horses three days a week down a mountain campus. And that's a five mile stretch. And so having the gas to do that, I hardly had gas to do that. For Viking Fusion, this is Josh Hayes.